historic copper mining town of Jerome, Arizona is about 100 miles north of Phoenix between Prescott and Flagstaff. This past December, we made a day trip there from Cottonwood up into the Black Hills on the western side of the Verde River Valley. Precariously perched on the side of Cleopatra Hill, today Jerome is a thriving artist and tourist town that still has an Old West mining vibe, but like most mining towns, has a tumultuous past. The first known occupants were the Hohokam culture who farmed the area from 700 to 1125 CE. The Sanagua people expanded in from the valley below from about 1150 CE until 1400 and were likely the first to mine what became the United Verde copper deposit, which was visible and accessible from the surface. When Spanish explorers first arrived in the area around 1583, the Sanagua settlements had been abandoned and the Verde River Valley was part of the nomadic Yavapai and Western Apache tribal territories. The copper deposit was noted by the Spanish, but they went no further as they were only after silver and gold. Following Mexican independence from Spain in 1821, the region became the northern part of Mexico. In 1848, Mexico ceded their northern territory after defeat in the Mexican-American War, and the land was incorporated into the New Mexico Territory until Arizona became its own territory in 1862, with Prescott as its new capital. In 1864, the territorial governor in Prescott ordered the subdual and relocation of all indigenous tribes to reservations, escalating the Yavapai and Apache Wars in Arizona. In 1873, the area was designated part of the Rio Verde Reservation and 1,500 Yavapai and Apache were relocated there until 1875. In 1875, however, giving in to political pressure, the reservation was closed and all inhabitants were forcibly relocated 180 miles to another reservation in southeast Arizona. Today, the land of the Yavapai Apache Nation is reduced to much smaller borders. The 1875 exodus of their people is commemorated every February. The valley was opened up to mining and settlement by 1876, and the town of Jerome was founded, and the United Verde Copper Mine opened shortly thereafter. By the turn of the 20th century and into the Roaring Twenties, Jerome grew from a small mining camp to become the fourth largest municipality in Arizona and was once termed the wickedest town in the West, owing to the high percentage of casinos and brothels in its heyday. Several buildings are still around from that boom period, including the 1898 Hotel Connor, an operating hotel and bar today. Next door to the Connor, the 1918 Liberty Theater is now a gift shop. The ruins of the 1901 Bartlett Hotel serve as an open-air sculpture garden. The grocery store built in 1900 is repurposed as an outdoor glass-blowing art studio. On the more morbid side, the Jerome Police Department displays a plaque commemorating lawmen who were killed in the line of duty, mostly during that wickedest time in its history. Mining continued to support the town until the Great Depression, but then picked up again during World War II as copper was used in every ship, airplane, and tank, among other production needs. Output peaked at an astonishing three million pounds of copper per month, making it the largest copper mine in Arizona. After the war, though, demand for copper plummeted, as did the town's population, and the former United Verde Mine closed permanently in 1953. The remaining population of around 50 to 100 people promoted the town as an historic ghost town. And in 1967, Jerome was designated a National Historic District by the federal government. Today, Jerome is a thriving tourist and artist hub with a population of around 450. A town with hope and a sense of humor. The shops, art galleries, restaurants, and wineries are all worth checking out modern while preserving an historic feel.
The town is creative in its waste disposal as well, repurposing mining equipment for public trash cans and recycle bins. We hope you enjoyed our journey through Jerome's past and present. If you did and want to see more videos, please like this video and hit subscribe on our channel. Thank you.